Well, I'm joined now by the CEOs of both cruise operators, Royal Caribbean CEO Richard Fain and Norwegian Cruise Line CEO Frank Del Rio. Gentlemen, it's good to have you both on CNBC today. And Richard, uh, I'll start with you. Help us understand what's the objective of this panel and why now lean on the expertise of these health experts when cruises have been grounded since mid-March? Uh, well, thank you, Sam. It's good to be here. And, um, yeah, we're quite excited about this panel. Uh, we've, we've actually been working on it for quite a while, almost two months now, to assemble a team of experts that could really help us develop the very best protocols to ensure the health and safety of our guests, um, of our crew, and, and the communities that we serve in. Um, it's, uh, we actually have a while because uh, the COVID-19 continues to expand, and so there's going to be a while before we can come back into service. And we're taking advantage of that time to put together the some of the strongest names in this field to put together a blue ribbon panel that help us to develop the very best kinds of protocols. But Frank, you know, obviously, the longer you wait, the more the financials, financial losses add up. One scenario that continues to come up, I'm hearing from my reporting with the CDC, is what happens if there is an infected passenger on board? Can you walk us through uh, how that would work from isolating that passenger, medically evacuating that passenger to ground? What level of confidence can you give those travelers who are booking cruises for this fall that if there is an infected passenger, that that person gets the treatment they, they need? Look, we're learning every day more and more on how this uh, disease uh, transmits, uh, what are the repercussions. And so what you saw happen several months ago when the virus first uh, struck America, I think will be quite different in the future. It's one of the things that the panel will be working on, quite frankly. Um, we think that is a, uh, a challenge. Uh, we believe there are uh, mitigating circumstances that we can overcome that challenge. But the, the reality is, is that uh, the pandemic now is uh, something that we all are having to live with uh, on land, at sea, everywhere. And we're all learning. And, uh, and, and we believe that uh, going forward uh, through the learnings of not just uh, what the panel is working on, but um, society as a whole, we'll be able to come back strong, uh, safe. Because at the end of the day, we have to build confidence in the marketplace, confidence with our travel agent partners, our, our, our guests, our crew, the communities we serve, as Richard mentioned. And so we're very confident that uh, there will be a robust and comprehensive set of protocols, procedures, policy standards, if you will, that will allow us to cruise safely. Richard, shed some light for us on what those protocols look like. Will passengers have to wear masks? Will crew have to wear masks? I mean, is that buffet go going away? Talk us through some of the changes that are going to be uh, made on board. Well, um, I think part of the point is we're not prejudging. We have, we have told the panel, take the resources, take the time. You have the expertise, bring in additional expertise if needed. So we don't have the answers today. We're really only announcing that the panel has only just started on that process. So I don't have all the answers. The one thing I can tell you, though, is that, um, interestingly, one of uh, Governor Levitt, one of the co-chairs, commented on how many of the panels were themselves experienced cruisers and wanted to bring back that experience and look forward to doing so. And we understand that the experience has to be appropriate for a cruise. Now, it is going to change. Um, look, in cruising, Sima, you know this, cruising has changed over the last number of years. We, we Cruising last year was quite different than it was a few years earlier. And I think it will be different in the future as well. We're looking to um, establish protocols that um, protect the health of our, of our guests and crew and do so without undermining what makes cruising so special. It will be different. Look, um, it wasn't that long ago when the ship only had one dining room. Mm -hmm. Now we have 26 on some of our ships. Um, it wasn't that long ago when uh, the buffet was, the midnight buffet was the big thing. We haven't had a midnight buffet for years. Um, you talk about buffets, that's one thing, if I'm guessing, I would guess that we would not have self-serve buffets, but maybe something where the buffet is provided and with individual service um, in a healthy manner. Um, so there will be changes, but I think the changes won't undermine the fundamental fact 
that people are buying a cruise for a marvelous experience, and we understand we need to deliver that marvelous experience. We just need to do it in a healthy way.